Okay, I believe we are back on. The most amazing part of uh, what's happening here is that uh, we, we are insanely prepared for a tiny uh, skirmish like this. We are gonna be running towards the rescue zone uh, using the buildings as best as we can. And the best part is we have someone in shadow so that we can uh, prevent uh, us from triggering pots before we are needed to do so. Uh, we will also get bombarded by um, what's it called? Reinforcement. So we'll have to pay attention to that as well. Hopefully, th hopefully the reinforcements will be so far behind us that we will not need to worry about them. The idea is always to break line of sight with the reinforcements uh, and keep advancing through situations that don't compromise us or our escape. So we'll examine over here. There's no one around the corner, so we're gonna go upstairs. Volk says I am to I obey. Know where you are. We see someone there. I hope he stays inside An of me. Patrol. Okay. Because this will allow me to uh, gauge if uh, we'll be in trouble by getting close to it. I don't think that's the case right now, however. Oh, we're automatically engaged. This is so bad. I did not consider this option. My god, why do I miss this simple cues? Okay, so hopefully we take a very mild hit and not something strong. Uh, there's really not much we can do right now. We will offer a better target in this sniper and hope that this is enough. <sighs> I'm. This is absolutely my fault. I should have suspected that I was not seeing any indication that uh, we were going to break concealment. However, I did not pick this up, mainly because it's a bit late. And also because uh, I just missed it. I guess it's a tiny lesson for the future. So what will happen now? Let's see. Uh, we hope the robot doesn't absolutely destroy us. This is good. Okay, we'll take this. This is a tiny uh, breather that we get as a free gift from the game. The sniper doesn't really have the option to run completely away. However, uh, we, will, we, we knew that we may use him as a sacrificial pawn in order to let the other two escape. Uh, we're gonna stay behind a little bit because otherwise this this person will be much faster than the others and uh, I'm actually considering trying to kill it mm, we have a very good way to do so which is the combat protocol this would deal 7 to 8 and that is an automatic kill that's why we are gonna move right over here and combat protocol it. We prefer this option over others because this guy can literally jump upstairs from wherever he is. We're gonna take the loot and yet again use this guy as uh, a lure because we're gonna take a low cover here and Bakita is not really in range of everyone. Hopefully the officer picks up on this Nope, he picks Vakira. This makes us very, very, very sad. Oof. If we die, we're gonna be very, very, very disappointed. We don't really deserve to die. That's bad. Can we not get shot anymore? Okay, so we live. And we may yet get everyone to live. So we're very happy about that. Uh, I'm gonna use run and gun and take the double move and once we're there we're gonna heal uh, this is because uh, if if we have to take yet another hit we'll be ready for it and hopefully the sniper can run also further away than what these guys can see and shot at, shoot at okay uh, I was really afraid that the debuff would get Makita killed however we got uh, I'm gonna say lucky, but at least we didn't get destroyed. Let's go with that. The is 
uh, we see that there's someone to be uh, seen through the windows we're gonna try not to cut not to trigger him also gonna keep an eye on him maybe we can just take the shot with the reaper and I think that still does not reveal us maybe we cannot do anything because they will be uh, below us basically so let's see what happens we're also guessing everyone else is running towards us and there's even a swarm of lost showing up we'll pay attention to see how many go up the stairs we see two and we also see that the stairs are not really close enough to us to be worried uh, we're gonna take this detour because first there are no stairs that lead to it that means it's a safer place to go to and second uh, we're gonna be able to just jump down towards the objective and be done with it the objective being escaping uh, let's move all the way here and let's move him behind the wall the most important thing is to always stay out of line of sight uh, we're doing this the best we can we're no longer marked. We're probably gonna reveal him now because Bakira is right below him, right above him. Yep, we were correct. We're still good with this. If he goes up, we'll make sure that he dies. Somehow. Yes, yes, we will. The last act, none of these were dashers, I believe, so that should keep us safe. And it did. I believe this is the best shots that we can take. Uh, this is 100% of a kill. We'll take it. And I believe this this is not a grenade. We have a grenade here. We can take this shot. If it's not a kill, we'll be a bit sad. But it should be a kill. It is not a kill. We are a bit sad. So what we're gonna do is uh, move over here. Moving to designated position. Take a hundred percent shot. And then take a grenade shot. Which hopefully also breaks his floor. Right like this. That's a kill. We open the door. We see what else awaits for us, but we are now very close from the exit. Luckily, we spot two more enemies that could potentially harm us if we were to trigger them at the wrong time. But right now, we feel very, very safe. Uh, There's also the the story of the other soldiers moving faster than this. Again, no dashers. We expect no hits. Good. Correct. Uh, okay, all of these people have a lot of health. So what we're gonna do is... Take a shot here. Take a shot here. And... Hmm, so how are we gonna solve this? Uh, this person cannot help us. None of these cars can help us. We could just reload and shoot. Ah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move here, take a pistol shot. And then we're gonna use him to make sure he dies by our hand, which will give us a free action, which we will use to hide away from the world. Uh, if the enemy shows up and decides to take a bot shot, we are perfectly fine with that. Hopefully no more surprises till the end. Okay, the lost are close. We're gonna end up our turn before we potentially reveal anyone. And hopefully next turn we'll just jump straight down to the finish line. 
apparently we can do so easily. Is this a real? It is not. We're fine with this. A lost swarm appears. We're also fine with this. Most important for us is to get uh, Bakira and the Reaper al out alive. I wish I could say unharmed, but that's already not the case. So let's drop down. Moving as ordered. Do we have Ranangan again? Yes, we do. Uh, so what we will do is Ranangan over here. This should trigger some people. At least this mech. No overwatch. That's that lets us move this guy also down to the exit. And we will try to take advantage of this situation and just get a kill. To do so we will take this shot, 100% chance. And then we'll consider what... Okay, that's, that's a reveal. And then we'll consider if combat protocol is enough. It is. was not entirely clean, uh, it was my mistake and that activation costed me a little bit of concentration and I took a few shots from that. I think I could have avoided this or at least been smarter on how I was gonna take it. But nobody died. Uh, I was really worried for a minute that we would die, so m my character represented in the world. But it didn't happen. So excellent, as the computer says. The good thing about this is uh, we get the next upgrade for the chosen hunt and we will also check if we can get the last one. Okay, so we got wounded for four, four days, this is nothing. We even got some loot, I guess that's not really important. Before we even investigate any of these, we need to make sure that we move on from this. Mobility increase by one for me, makes us happy. We get a new thingy, it's inside knowledge. I already forgot what this does. Uh, but we can check soon. Manufacture upgrade, facility lead, reduce progress. This, we may be interested in that. All effects of all weapon modifications is increased. Yes, inside knowledge turned out to be one of the most amazing things. This increases basically every stat to the next one. So everything that was normal becomes uh, advanced. Everything that's advanced superior. And superior goes up to 20% or equivalent increases. So we are absolutely going to use that. This person got a promotion. I guess that's completely relevant for now. And uh, we have no major to send here, so we can start working on the others. Let's see first, someone got a promotion and if I don't click it, it's gonna annoy me. And watch this. Let's see, how many units do we have available? Uh, I would say quite enough. This means we are able to do the next cover operation. Covered actions. We could start fighting for this. We have a new resistance order, which is just plus one contact. Putting an order for plus one contact seems like the worst trade-off ever. If it was maybe one contact per month, we would consider it. <laughs> yes, you're still alive, I think. Can we check? Are you there? Yes, there we go. Uh, we actually are the only two Argentinians still alive. So there we go. That's worth it. Okay, uh, what were we doing? We were checking co uh, covered ops. We can look at this one. We could go for the plus one mobility, but I believe... <laughs> yes, I'm trying really hard not to lose anyone else. Uh, mobility on Reaper is good. So that's a tempting option. Uh, this takes 14 days, this takes 10, and it's uh, how many days till the supply drop? 11. Okay, then the choice is made for us. We have to go for this one, this we finish in 10 days, and then we'll be able to use a new order, or the new slot more importantly. 
one of the, the rewards are uh, plus three aim so we can send whomever here I believe this is the only specialist available so we cannot send him we will use one of the rangers and this who, who wants some aim I guess I can choose between any of these two snipers and I guess this person can get it it's a moderate risk of wound and nothing else so we don't really mind let's go for it we'll get the job done don't worry commander okay let's try to finish the month uh, we'll obviously get immediate missions so basically we got not we got to do nothing and the cover civilians will give us rewards uh that's not a bad one neutralized field commander if we have some and for an engineer if we have some uh some scouts on the ground then we can take real good advantage of this one because uh it doesn't start until we decide to get revealed what are what are the other options this one we really did not care about it's a hack it's uh, it's a preferred of the of it's a preferred objective, however, uh, Intel and this reward, uh, this uh, dark event, we don't really care about. Alright. Yes, so the the latest expansion to XCOM 2 has included so many new things. I think the total count was 110 new features. Uh, not counting like variations of individual features, just really different features from each other. Uh, new factions, new units, new levels, new options, new uh, enemies, new abilities, new weapons, new pretty much a lot of things. Uh, even a lot of visual stuff has been uh, improved as well. And I would say it's absolutely worth buying. Okay, so the last, uh, the last mission itself counters the hidden dark event, gives us supplies, but it's a destroy and, and a very difficult, I think, that's all we have right now yes uh, we don't think we will be able to get a lot of these resistant contact extra supplies however it's still it's still a, a nice trade-off uh, I think we're yes okay so this is going to be the, the decisive factor we are extremely low in supplies we don't think we can get enough supplies from uh, getting this resistant contact especially if we don't find them which is absolutely possible in this type of mission. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, go for the destroy the alien relay and uh, get the rewards themselves. All right, see you later. Uh, let's try not to get you killed though. Let's prepare. For South Africa. We have made our choice. Alright, so we are taking a Reaper. I don't know if we're gonna take the Skirmisher though. Do we have all the weapons available yet? Ah, oh, so close. If we if we had these supplies we would be really happy. I believe we have already sold as many things as we could sell. So that's a shame. However, we have no Grenadier, so maybe it's not such a big loss right now. We have a Ranger. We have a specialist and two sharpshooters. Let's consider not taking the second sharpshooter and see what else we could bring. So we could bring another specialist. And that may be the better idea. We could also bring a ranger and have them be shaken for a bit. Or extra tired if you will. What's their will? It's pretty low. That's a shame. could also do the same for the Templar but no let's try to be nice uh, if I had to choose between an extra sharpshooter and an extra specialist specialist is a bit more uh, versatile we have to check also who do we want to give our special items to now that they're all here um, we're pretty sure this specialist should get the medkit and 
let's check let's go like last time for the biggest aim 74 89 all right that was an easy one we'll give the blue screen rounds to this sharpshooter that should take care of things we'll make sure everyone is equipped with the good version of their weapons because we have lost people on the way and people can get new upgrades none of these are really useful right now hair trigger okay we can we can just slap an auto loader back here just because we can maybe it will make a difference we have many magnetic ri rifles readily available is this the superior one? No, that's the one. This one has just a repeater. This one has some nice things too. We'll give the rookie the mega rifle. Come on rookie, we can do this. Uh, we cannot buy the new uh, rifle for them without sacrificing a lot of our resources. Wait, is that is that even true? Uh, yeah, we can do it. Uh, we're at the point where either we make the campaign or we break it. So, let's go for it. Just as we mentioned before, we're gonna cut the stream for 5 seconds so that we can get a separate video and upload it later to YouTube. So, see you soon.